thanks to the organizers for the <coughs> invitation. So, uh, okay. So let's start by uh, recording uh, Lebedevita's theorem. So suppose I I I I fix a Riemannian manifold M and a and a, and a pseudo metric. So in particular, I am not uh, assuming uh, positive uh, de definiteness. I am just uh, assuming that that it's a, it's a non-degenerate. So then. The Levitas theorem says that, that, that there is a unique uh, uh, um, connection on, uh, on, the, on the space of one forms, which is uh, uh, torsionless and it is incompatible with G. Okay, so, uh, so here is the question. So suppose I have a, uh, an algebra A and a, a differential uh, um, um, calculus on A, so in, in particular, uh, spectral triples will be uh, examples, and I fix a, uh, a pseudo Riemannian metric on the on the space of uh, one forms of the differential um, calculus. So this is my um, setup. So the question is, does there exist a connection which is torsionless and uh, um, compatible with the G? Okay. So I, I have to define a lot of things, namely that what do I mean by a, a pseudo Riemannian metric on, in, 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 in this case? What do I mean by a, uh, I, by a connection? What is a torsion of a connection? And most importantly, uh, what is meant by a torsion being uh, compatible with, with this metric? Okay, so uh, I should mention that there is already some uh, literature on this. So the, I think the earliest work was was uh, a paper of Frolich, Raja, and uh, Recknagel. So, so they worked with the uh, uh, Hermitian matrix on a spectral triple, and their uh, definition of metric. Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, compatibility is is going to be different than ours. Okay, and uh, and there are actually a lot of um, uh, um, papers by by uh, Shan Majid, uh, Edwin Beggs, and their um, collaborators. So uh, they uh, in some papers they, the um, um, setup is by module connections. But while while our uh, um, connections are, are are going to be uh, usual connections, and uh, the, there is also a, a lot of work in in, in the last uh, maybe ten years. Well, these these uh, papers don't deal with uh, uh, the with the connections, but their uh, aim is to uh, compute the. Uh, uh, um, curvature for the conformal um, perturbation of a of a, of a metric, and uh, and this uh, and 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 this is done by the spectral asymptotics of the of the Laplace operator of the of the spectral triple. Okay, so uh, um, um, for example, uh, um, uh, 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 yeah, I mean, so I I. Uh, I mentioned that, that it's it's only two risks, but but uh, I, I I recently learned that they, that uh, this has been done for some other examples also, like like the wild uh, sphere by um, uh, um, Sitach. Okay. Okay. So our so the goal of 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 our work is to identify a set of sufficient conditions on the differential. Uh, 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 um, calculus, which will ensure the existence of the Lebesgue connection. So this is our aim. Okay. So, uh, so the main theorem here is the f is the following. So suppose I, I have a differential uh, um, calculus, 
Uh, so I, I am going to change uh, notations in the sense that I am going to uh, denote the set of one forms by the symbol E, which satisfies uh, some assumptions. So I am I'm going to define all the assumptions later. And then hmm, there is this uh, small te uh, uh, technical uh, uh, condition of, uh, about the existence of a, of a bilinear metric. Mm, that is a metric which is both a linear, a right linear, and left linear. Then we we uh, we have the existence of a of a of a Leverage interconnection. So this is the method. Okay. So uh, I uh, need to uh, define matrix and then the uh, connections and then the metric uh, um, compatibility. So here is uh, one way to, to do it. So I assume, well, actually, this was mentioned in uh, 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 Shan's talk that, that I, I, I have a I have a splitting of, of of the of the module e, e tensor, but, but, but e, e is my one forms. So uh, so so this guy classically is the analog of the of the symmetric two tensors, and f is the it is the anti-symmetric two, two tensors, or in other words, the the space of two forms. So suppose I I have. Oops, so the, uh, uh, since I, I, I have a differential uh, uh, um, calculus, I, I, I have a wedge map from uh, E tensor E to uh, omega 2. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, just a wedge map. OK, so I will need the following <coughs> notations. So since this uh, the kernel M corresponds to the symmetric two tensors, I will have this mm. notation. And since I, I, I have this mm, decomposition, I, I I I have a unique mm, idempotent which with range as as this, and this sigma will be two psm minus identity. So in the classical case, sigma is nothing but the but the flip map. Okay, so my, my uh, metric will be an, an element of uh, of uh, e tens uh, of of a Right, right a linear map from e tensor e to a so a form of a on the right means that it's a right a linear i am not assuming it to be all, all a bilinear such that so uh, that, 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 that this holds so shan called it uh, a quantum symmetric and i i i i i, I have this non the generic condition what is image in the M? What is that? I'm sorry? Im M. What is that? Image. Im is the white product map. Right. So so it's just the uh, Im is 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 it's just uh, two forms. Okay. So if if these two conditions are satisfied, then I can call G to be a pseudo Riemannian metric only. Okay. So I will working with the right connections. So, um, so that I, I, I have this Leibniz rule, and then uh, since I'm uh, so the, since I'm working with the right connection, so I so my torsion will be this, and so this is a right a linear map, and I will call lambda to be uh, torsionless if if if, if the, the torsion is same. Okay. So uh, I uh, showed the, the uh, I mean the main theorem already mentioned these three assumptions and let me uh, introduce them one by one. So the assumption one is is that okay. So I uh, uh, so let's recall that the center of of, a, of an AA by module E is defined to be those elements in E which which quote unquote, unquote commutes with all elements of the algebra. Okay? So my assumption is is that that, that if you if you consider the canonical multiplication map from uh, from from the center tensor A to E, then it's an isomorphism of vector spaces. 
well in the in the in the in the, uh, in the classical case so uh, since by uh, well so my center of a is 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 the whole of a and my center is a, of e is the is the whole of e so this is this is of course uh, uh, unsatisfied so this was assumption 1 so so assumption 2 is is this splitting which we are already m mentioned before assumption 3 is that so if if my uh, so remember that that uh, that since i have this splitting i i i i, I have this map sigma which is flipped in the in the uh, in the uh, 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 classical case but of course in the quantum case you you can't expect sigma to be flipped on the whole but our assumption is that it is indeed a flip on 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 uh, on center tensor center okay so this is the third assumption so so it follows that uh, from all these assumptions that that e is is actually a centered by by module which means that the center is is both left and right a total in a so these are all these three so left and right what a, a, so, so okay so 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 span of e a so span of uh, uh, e a e in z e a in a is equal to e and uh, this is also e equal to a e a in Actually, we have some, um, something stronger, which is in assumption one, and that will be uh, used very, very crucially. Okay. So now I need to define what is meant by, by for for a for for a connection to be compatible with with a given metric G. So fix uh, such a metric. So look at the firm following map. So it's it's initially defined on the center tensor center to E. It's given by this map. So then, due to our assumptions, this extends to a way. So, so firstly, it so this map descends to uh, well, 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 sorry, this map extends to 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 E E E, e uh, uh, tensor E over A to E. Okay. So this is the, uh, so the right hand side is the usual thing which appears in the metric uh, compatibility in the in the classical case. The only difference is that so since I, I, I uh, since uh, here this sigma is uh, is is not the flip on the whole of e tensor e, I have to be careful. But due to our assumptions, this 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 is well defined. And as usual, so, so, so we say that the connection is compatible with G if uh, if this pi G nabla is, is equal to dj. Okay. So let's recall the the, the uh, main theorem. So suppose uh, I, I, I have a differential calculus, and I and uh, suppose I I, I I have fixed a pseudo Riemannian uh, right a linear metric on E. The first assumption is, is is that this 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 multiplication map from center tensor A to E is an isomorphism of vector spaces. Assumption two is that I I, I have a splitting of E tensor E, and the third uh, assumption is that on the center, so the map sigma is just a flip. Then the theorem says that there exists uh, that that e, if the it, that that well, I mean, uh, there's this small technical condition about the existence of a of a uh, of a bilinear metric. So, uh, by a bilinear metric, I I, I mean uh, a metric in, in my sense, which is in addition also left a linear. Then the theorem says that there exists a unique connection which is torsionless and compatible with G. 
I'm sorry, the, me the metric lives in, in the center or? No, 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 no. So, so, so the metric lives in the polar E, to um, tensor E over A to A, to E, sorry, to A. Okay, so this is the theorem. So uh, how does one prove it? So uh, Goswami's idea was was to uh, was uh, the um, following. So recall that this E tensor E A is 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 uh, is just the uh, uh, kernel of, of of the wedge band. So uh, classically, this is nothing but a symmetric two tensors, and you uh, now uh, now. Look at the following a a linear map. So uh, if you if you uh, if you replace l by some nabla, then this is not going to be uh, right in linear. But but as we know that uh, the uh, space of connections is an affine space. So if you fix fix a particular torsionless connection, say the nabla knot, then then this l will be your nabla minus nabla knot. Okay. So then this L will be a, a right in linear map. And this map makes sense. And, uh, and, and the theorem says that if this phi uh, GM uh, is an isomorphism, then there exists a, uh, a unique um, connection. Actually, it, it says uh, um, something stronger, but it's, it's not. Uh, <clears throat> so it says that that if you have all, all these assumptions, assumption one, two, three, then uh, then indeed uh, this this capital phi g is an isomorphism of right A modules, and and, and, and then, then you can apply this this theorem. So and then then we have the, this this explicit form of the of the Lebesgue connection. So how um, how do we get it? So since capital phi G is an isomorphism, so uh, there exists an element L living here such, such that capital phi G of L is equal to uh, D G. And, and and then you just backtrack and, and, and see that, that that this means that if you write L as a difference of nabla and nabla not, then the, the, the then this comes out. Okay, so this is a theorem. Okay, uh, I I I want uh, since the, this motion has been explained uh, many times, I, I won't go much into it. So just let me remind you that that, that if we have a spectral tri triple, then we we have the uh, uh, sorry, then we have this uh, natural uh, multiplication map from from. I mean, since everything is living in the B of H, we have this natural multiplication map. So then uh, uh, you you uh, so you so you quotient this 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 guy by, by the set of junk forms, and then define the omega two to be this, and then uh, the. Then the uh, then we have the uh, uh, yeah so so, so uh, I mean the Dirac differential is is defined like this, and since we uh, quotient it by the specific junk forms, this d square becomes zero. So indeed, I I have a complex. So this is some stuff from a long time. Okay. So the question is that okay. So so, so suppose I want to look at spectral triples and ask if there exists a Lebesgue connection. Now Kohn says that, that the spectral triple uh, encodes uh, everything about the uh, metric. So, uh, so, so then the question, uh, the natural question to ask is, is that, so since we are asking about the existence of Lebesgue, what is the metric? So, uh, this was uh, so. Uh, so suppose th that that our spectral triple is 
is soon available. So that I I I I, I have this uh, um, uh, um, functional defined in terms of the dictionary address. I assume that that this functional is faithful normal phrase on the on the Bernoulli algebra generated by, by by these guys. This is very standard regularity assumption. So uh, what I am going to try is to define a candidate for a spectral tri triple right for, uh, for, uh, 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 sorry a natural candidate of a, of a metric from a uh, um, spectral triple, and this was actually already done by 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 Froelich, though though what they were though though, uh, though their metric was was sesqui uh, linear. So what they did was, was that they 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 uh, looked at this guy. So so uh, sorry. So I mean the I mean the for. Uh, the uh, formula is missing, but 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 uh, uh, but uh, so this inner inner uh, um, product is is just uh, uh, nothing but 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 uh, but uh, tau of omega eta. Okay, so this is tau of omega eta. So. Uh, Ah, oh. sorry sorry yeah 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 right yeah so right right yeah so 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 basically this this uh, this uh, uh, I mean using this 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 this, this, this tau, tau one can one can define this this uh, uh, this evolute uh, form and then uh, this descends to an a bilinear map, but the only trouble is that this G takes values in the double commutant. Okay. So Froelich, uh, since the, their, uh, their uh, idea was to uh, work with the sesquilinear forms, they had just considered o o omega here. So what they got was sesquilinear, but, 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 but since we, we are uh, working with, with, with Right linear matrix, so we, we have to put this. Okay, so since it uh, this guy takes value in a double commutant, so this does not fit our uh, uh, our uh, formalism. So what Goshami proved is that so uh, so this, this was briefly mentioned uh, yesterday in, in in some other guys. So if you if you have uh, uh, this. Uh, 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 a regularity condition on the on the spectral triple, so that the uh, the Laplacian makes sense, and then if if the if you initially assume that that, that the Laplacian uh, takes uh, takes value in, in 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 A, then then the then then, then uh, this guy takes uh, uh, also takes value in A. Okay, so of course some some extra conditions need to be checked, which we have checked in 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 uh, in, in, in our examples. So G is so uh, so, uh, so 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 you uh, need to check that this G composite is to be G, and and this is non D, uh, and, and and that G is uh, non D. Uh, generate. So, uh, if all the conditions are satisfied, then we, uh, we so this particular G is the is the candidate of uh, to, to be the canonical Riemannian metric on the for the spectral triple. Okay. And uh, in the next three examples, we we, we are going to work with with uh, with precisely this metric okay so let's first uh, state that uh, that that the that uh, we, we have at least three uh, 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 examples so the matrix geometry of the phase sphere and then the quantum heisenberg 
mobile phones, and the third are the, this asymmetrical de deformations by 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 free and isometric neural actions. So let's start with the fuzzy sphere. So uh, so so uh, so for the spectral triple, you you uh, you 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 uh, you take your Hilbert space. To be this, but, but, but where, where this Vj is the canonical spin uh, spin J representations of, of the group S U two. So my algebra is a full matrix algebra, and my uh, 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 space is, is just H dot tensor W, where, where the W is the uh, representation space of the of the of the Clifford algebra. Okay. So then, for the Shukraja and Rechnagal proofs that uh, that uh, there exists a spectral triple, we won't need the the, uh, the description, but, but what we will need is the space of forms. So, so this is a free right module, and the uh, bimodule structure is, is 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 given by this. Uh, so omega two are just like the uh, our our classical antisymmetric guys, and the fact that 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 uh, that that, um, that that the sigma is a flip follows from the the uh, description of, of of kernel M. Moreover, it is given that that it's a uh, so that three forms is a rank one module, and the higher forms are zero. So our uh, assumption one to three are satisfied by 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 you by by uh, you using one to four. This is an easy check. Okay. So the Levitz meta connection exists. So let's recall that 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 Frodish et al. had already worked with this uh, with this example. And uh, firstly, they, they they had worked with the Hermitian matrix, and secondly, their metric um, compatibility was was uh, different. So they had proof that there exists a family of torsionless and metric compatible connections. So this metric compatible is in uh, their sense, okay. but. If you impose an additional uh, reality condition, then they got the uh, uniqueness. Okay. So what we have observed that that with our <laughs> definition, there exists a unique levitch uh, 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 um, connection, and this this connection coincides with the real. Connection of of Frodish. Okay, so the second uh, example is the quantum Heisenberg uh, of, of, of manifold. So uh, this is a deformation quantization of the homogeneous space uh, G by Z, where G is the three-dimensional uh, Heisenberg group and Z is the uh, sorry. So this is a term type. Is, a, is is the uh, um, canonical uh, discrete uh, subgroup Z? So uh, Chakraborty and Sinha, quite a long time ago, had produced a family of spectral triples on A. So here A being the quantized version of C of G by Z. Okay. They had also proved that. So this, so the so the space of one forms is a free module, and the and the space of two forms is, is also like like like, like this. So Chakraborty and Sinha had proved that if you take the metric incompatibility of Frolich, then there exists no torsionless connection, which is also metric incompatible. So uh, with our uh, setup, it, it follows that this exists, and, and uh, um, uh, um, curiously, 
uh, we also observe that that the that, that the scalar curvature is is constant negative. Okay, so this was the second example. So uh, let's go to the third example. So uh, this is the case of the isospectral deformations. So let's uh, recall the the setup. So suppose my, my M is a uh, is a compact Riemannian uh, manifold, then the uh, the isometric group of M is a Lie group. So if if the if the uh, rank of the Lie group is uh, is two or more, then then uh, there is a uh, 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 that there is a, a, a procedure of of uh, of uh, deforming it to a non commutative algebra. Uh, so if you if you so consider the 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 space of one forms, and then Korn and Landy uh, uh, proved. That that one can canonically associate a a, a, a spectral triple on this uh, oh, on this a theta. Okay. So what's the what's the spectral triple? So the so Hilbert space remains the same. The Dirac remains the same. The only thing which changes. Is the is the action of of uh, of a theta, okay? So uh, I mean the action uh, of of C infinity m on this uh, Hilbert space gets twisted by a two cosine. Curve. So this is the uh, more, uh, what I mean by the uh, isospectral. Uh, Deformations. It also follows that the entire space of forms get, get, uh, uh, gets uh, gets uh, deformed. Okay. So then uh, we have proved that 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 if you take any Riemannian metric on e, e, e theta, then there exists a unique Lebesgue vector. So more or less, so the uh, so the Lebesgue vector connection for M. Gets naturally uh, twisted to, to to the connection on e theta. I'm sorry, doesn't it have to, doesn't it have to relate to the uh, symmetry? When you say any any Riemannian metric on e zero, shouldn't it be deforming the classical manifold M? Put Riemannian manifold M that you begin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, so this um, so this e theta is a is a deformation of uh, of uh, um, infinity M. But then why do you say later on any Riemannian metric? No, 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 but, but, but on near the fourth line up from the bottom, you say any Riemannian metric on E zero. Yeah. On okay. E yeah. On, on yeah. yeah. Because I I have uh, assumed the, the this to be isometric. So are, are you referring? Uh, do you mean any 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 Riemannian metric on the manifold M? Gets gets. Mean? Yeah. So 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 to get uh, naturally deformed. To a Riemannian metric on 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 on, uh, on e, e theta. Yeah, but you're not choosing it independently on e theta. The, the one, it just looks like on the fourth line from the bottom. It looks like you were choosing the metric on e theta independently of the Riemannian metric on the manifold. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, uh, so, okay, so uh, I should I should clarify here. So, so I mean the I mean the, I mean the only uh, thing I I yeah uh, I, I I need is uh, is is that this 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 metric should be invariant under the T N action on on e theta? So 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 then you you can basically go back and forth between the the classical and the yeah. so the only thing which I'm assuming is is that this action is free. So that okay. So this is my only uh, assumption. Okay, so uh, so this is the theorem for the Conlandi deformations. So in in particular, this includes the non 
cognitive torus and, and, and other twisted uh, groups, sister uh, um, algebras. Uh, right. So let me explain. So basically, uh, let's recall that the assumption uh, one said that the that the center uh, has to be. Uh, uh, so there was an uh, isomorphism uh, from the center tensor A to 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 A. Okay. So so to start with. With, we need to prove that the center of the module E theta is sufficiently large. Okay. So, uh, so the way we we, uh, we 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 prove it is the is the following, and this is exactly where we we, we need the assumption of freeness. So, uh, one can prove the 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 the, the following result: that suppose my E prime is a is a is a uh, is a is a submodule over a prime, but, 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 but a prime is a subalgebra of the center of the algebra. Okay, and if 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 you have this canonical multiplication map from e prime tensor a to e to be an isomorphism, then then you, you, you have the isomorphism on this on the on the center. Moreover, if uh, uh, if uh, uh, so, if if my center is a is a is a is finitely generated and projective over this center, then then these two uh, the, the isomorphisms are are uh, so. The isomorphism of uh, uh, this isomorphism and uh, and the isomorphism you epsilon are are in uh, are, yeah so so one uh, isomorphism implies the other okay so so uh, we have to make an, uh, a, a a judicious choice of e prime and a prime so remember that, that my 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 manifold has. And a free isometric toral action, so that I I have the spectral uh, um, subalgebra corresponding to the toral action. So define this E prime to be the fixed point uh, um, submodule of E, which is of course smaller than E, and A prime to be the fixed point uh, subalgebra. Okay, so then. Then, uh, then uh, we we uh, then this isomorphism holds, and as a result, we ha indeed have the isomorphism of this. So, uh, I mean, this isomorphism is uh, is needed because we, uh, I mean, this, I mean, this one is needed because because uh, because we need to uh, prove that that the center of the module e theta is sufficiently large and having this proposition in hand it is uh, 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 it is possible to prove the assumption one for the module e theta okay so right so let so let's go go to the uh, garbage and now so uh, remember that I had this uh, Splitting. So I, I I have this the wedge map from e tensor e to omega two. So since this uh, splits into the kernel uh, m and image m, so I I I, I have this uh, particular isomorphism. Sorry. So I need to uh, define uh, the uh, okay. So let me explain. So I I, I have this uh, have this block uh, from E to E E tensor E. So classically, what we do is is that I I I I go from he, uh, here to here. But since I, I have this isomorphism, so I I can go here. 
Okay. So this guy H is uh, is uh, is what I'm uh, 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 roughly writing here. So R uh, and then uh, and then you apply the uh, uh, yeah and, and 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 then this this, this R nabla is the is the is is the uh, is the uh, I mean classically is it's just uh, like a square. Okay, so now I so I, I want to define the Ricci uh, 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 curvature. So I I I have this map R, R nabla. So this is a right alien right <coughs> alien map from E to E tensor E. Now if, since my module is uh, is finitely generated and projective, so this is isomorphic to Now, for defining Ricci curvature, I, I I I need to flip these two, two, two copies, and then flip this copy to here, and then apply uh, I mean or evaluate this E star on, on this. Now, now the first step is is uh, is uh, is is canonical because uh, because my my, my because my sigma is actually uh, bilinear, so I let's see. So I go here. Uh, okay. So the so next problem is to is to uh, put, I mean, is to flip these two copies, right? And uh, and uh, right. So so I would need the map. From e tensor e star to e star to tensor e. So suppose I, I have this, then I am here, and then I can identity tensor identity tensor evaluation. Okay. So this will give me the rigid tensor. So the only step left is here. And that's where again our assumption <coughs> will will, uh, will, uh, will come uh, handy. So uh, I, by, by assumption one, I will uh, I I I have these maps. Okay. So uh, so what you do is that so 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 you. Start from here, and then go here, and here the uh, and here the flip map makes sense. Okay, and then you you uh, you apply the top map to go back to start tensor E, and then you. Uh, Evaluate. So uh, this. Uh, okay. And so this defines the the Ricci tensor, and uh, and the next step is very straightforward. Uh, I have five minutes. Okay. Okay. So uh, so our uh, mm, right. So uh, I. I mentioned that that there is this a huge uh, uh, literature uh, on the computation of the scalar curvature on the on the uh, on the non commutative torus and other manifolds from the spectral asymptotics of the Laplacian. So uh, since we have a dimension with a Connection and 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 we, we can define the rigid tensor and so on. It's a natural question to uh, to ask uh, whether we we can define the uh, uh, scalar curvature using our techniques. So the first thing is that so suppose my module uh, uh, satisfies my assumptions. 
this. So this, uh, so the uh, uh, you fix this bilinear um, metric on, on on E, and and K to be an invertible element of A. So the so the uh, work starting with Korn uh, and Fredkov dealt with the following question: What is the scalar curvature for the metric? K G naught. Okay. So it's not written here, but 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 the but the but the underlying metric is is, is K times G naught. Okay. Now K times G naught is typically only right in linear. So what we uh, prove is that we we have this ex explicit form for the Lebesgue connection. So P sim is the is the uh, I then put it onto the uh, symmetric tensors, and omega G naught is is this guy. Okay. So uh, right. So uh, we want to uh, um, we want to uh, 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 compute the scalar curvature of the of the um, for the non commutative torus. So the first step is this. Is is this uh, 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 result? But suppose I have a free module, which is the case for for the non commutative torus, with a basis even into a, 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 which belongs to the center. Okay, and if this holds, which which of course I mean, uh, I mean classically it's always true, and I, I and I fix. This, uh, this 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 particular torsionless uh, connection, and 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 then the principal symbols for for the Lebesgue connection are, are are given in uh, in in terms of this key. Okay, and thus we can uh, apply this result to the non commutative torus. So here we we. we we have that the set of one point is uh, is free, and these e one and e two are the central elements, and uh, then we can uh, easily compute the 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 rigid tensor as well as, as well as the scalar curvature. So I guess that's all I have.